Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to a brand new episode of Dark Siders War Mastered Edition. Almost said remastered. That's not what it's called. We're on episode eight, I think. Now, I, I don't know. I'll be honest, guys. I I just been crushing this shit. I haven't really been thinking about the numbers. Obviously, the title will have it the correct number on there, no matter like no matter what. But we are in the next part. Last time we left off, we talked to Yulthane, the Black Hammer, and he basically was just like, "Yo." If you really think, like, if you really say who you are, prove to me by going in and killing the fucking Griever. So that's what we're doing. We're going in, and we're actually going to try and mix in the Griever. He is in, like, this wilderness kind of uh, overgrown area. And that kind of represents, like, his actual, like, appearance, too. And you'll see what I mean in a minute here. But we want to keep traveling. I don't actually recall this section of the game, so this is pretty fucking cool. But we are in the right way, though. We are going to encounter some new enemies that I'm not a big fan of. But oh well. What can we do about it? <sighs> They're the witches, man. The witches don't play. But we're going to keep making our way over. Now, I'm, I'm ex I mean, I was considering switching my controller out for a PS4 controller. Because I only have one Xbox controller right now that I like, like using, which is my uh, Elite Series 2. But, um... It's been giving me a little bit of issues, like, running-wise or movement-wise on this game, which, by the way, never really happens on any other game, and I wouldn't know. I play a lot of Call of Duty, so I would have realized instantly if that wasn't a thing, but it just happens to be a thing on this controller, and I wasn't sure if that was a common thing or whatever, so, yep. Um, so far, so good, though, but next time... Uh, what the fuck? Already, dude? Why am I supposed to do this, bitch? I'm about to say, like, what? I didn't realize we saw the Griever already, bro. What the fuck? Did not realize you already saw this, man. Yeah, that was the Griever, and I did not expect to see her <laughs> this early. That kind of actually kind of scared me. Um, yeah, I don't know why I forgot we see her this early, but we don't actually get to fight her until later on. So that was kind of like a pre-encounter, and you definitely saw what kind of moves she's capable of. So that's the Griever. Uh, <laughs> I love how I just said, we're going to see it real soon, and then bam, right in front of my face. But yeah, so let's go through this door over here. I think um, that's not a door. All these doors are open so far, so it's just kind of figuring out which one is the right one. From my previous experiences, though, I never this this door giving me some good luck. So I will go ahead and try this one. A couple of these soul chests over here. I like it. Now, I wonder why these aren't popping up on the map. That's kind of confusing. I don't know if I need to find something for this area of the game before I start seeing these things or what's up. But, all right, that's our third fucking soul chest. I love it. Love it. Can't get enough of that. Now, we'll come back for those glacier-type uh, looking things. We'll have to come back for those. We don't have an item yet to uh, break those things. You saw Yulthane. He just fucking bodied that shit with his fucking black hammer. That's what I want to refer to it as. Because, I mean, that is the hammer he's referring to. Um, I'm pretty sure, at least. So, yeah. He was bodying that instantly with a heavy weapon. But we don't have ourselves a heavy weapon just yet. Even though the Chaos Eater is fat as shit. It doesn't just do the job all the way. So... Finally, making our way into the meat of the Griever. We have a little bit to go. The Griever area is not that hard. Some swimming, some uh, some insects and stuff like that. But overall, I should be able to get you guys through the section of the game pretty fucking easy. I like to do that. Let's go ahead and just hop over here. And then don't be a pansy, dude. Just jump. I don't even know if that's insulting or not. So I apologize if that word pansy is. But I just thought it was a funny word. So I apologize once again. But yeah, go ahead and just fucking jump down. Oh, here it is. Fuck. I didn't know it was this early. Ah. All right. So this is a puzzle. Very much a puzzle. Lots of lines. Lots of uh, uh, areas that have gas. Like this right here. We need to go ahead and light up with gas. but uh, Or fire. Because there's no um, fire just yet. But where is our first location? Do we have to jump down immediately and just start going, harm, uh, going ham? So, okay. I think we're just going to jump down and start going ham. 
So let's kill these guys real quick. They're not that bad. I'll be honest. They're not that bad. All right, fuck you guys. So let's go ahead and grab... I can do that for now, but that's not going to help me out just yet. I have to find the first flaming thing. Which I don't know if that's even possible yet to find. All right, let's hop down into the water. Um, be careful, guys, because there are uh, eels in this section, as you can tell. And I'm pretty sure the eels are where we do want to go because I think they're going to have an item for us. So I'm going to go up here real quick. Don't let them shock you. Let's make our way. And this... Okay, this led us to the thing over here. Let's go ahead and... Actually... This would probably start up the fire, I believe, right? Yes. Yes. All right. So now that the fire is activated, we want to go ahead and start just spreading the fire throughout the areas. That way we can have easier access next time to when we actually go ahead and use it. Let's go ahead and jump over here. Skip all these guys. We'll go ahead and fight them when we get over here. Plop down. And go hard. Um, whoa, 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 what do you mean to do that? I don't think I agreed to all that, my guy, but. Ah. All right. There's some more critty crawlers I hear. Critty crawler? Mm, maybe not. Can't, oh, yeah, there is. All right, so we want to make it here. So can we? That guy was right beneath me, dude. What a cornflake. What a cornflake. There we go. All right, and with that, we can head back. So let's just go back to the eels. Actually, before we do the eels again, let's check around and see if there's something we are missing, like an item or... Something like that. I'm um, pretty sure all the areas are closed off right now that wouldn't have anything in them. Alright, back to the eel part. Get up! Oh, I thought I was going to get clapped. I thought for sure I was going to get my shit ran. So ideally, before you go up here, you want to go ahead and do what I just did with the, uh, the fumes. That way, it's just a simple process. I already went ahead and threw a, a thing over there. That way, like, literally, it's going to be a one and done now that we've already set it up. That was pretty easy for me. Uh, we have one more area like this that will be a little bit harder, but overall, not that bad. Bam. Back up a little bit. I want a body. Yep. Got that one. Light work. Yep. Yep. It's where it gets fun. All right. So, these bitches are afraid of us. Um, we can go over there. Also go down here. Is there a way back up? Of course there is. Of course there is. Now, is there any way to get over there? No, not yet. I didn't get the artifact yet, did I? I'd say. I'm gonna grab this artifact real quick. Yeah, I just I just said fuck it. Might as well. Can't go over here. We can go right here though. Jump up. Just avoid the eel. I mean he's not that hard to avoid, really. Now I believe we can actually rise the water level till we can get this item over there. I don't recall it being too important. It's probably like a treasure map or something like that, or even a key, for instance. Uh, nothing major major that we're gonna want for collectibles, but it'll be nice to have nevertheless. So we'll try and get that All right, so these are like the first enemies we've, we've ever encountered in the game they're Like this the small little demon guys But these guys are a little more aggressive and they have that spike on their back That means they can do a little bit of that spinny dash shit, which you saw them do a little bit on me um, So these enemies are just a little bulkier overall though. And I mean they're not that bad in groups, that's when they're an issue, in my opinion. When they come in groups, for sure. Once again, I'm trying to level up my uh, harvester real quick. 
That way, next time we can we, we want to keep them balanced. Before in my previous games, I don't really pay attention to what levels which. I kind of just use Chaos Eater the most part, and then Harvester is like a backup, whatever. Uh, but we want to go ahead and level up both of them for sure. Body that bitch, no problem. That was easy, big easy. All right, loading screen. Thank you, appreciate you. Nothing over here. This is definitely an area I'm about to get jumped at. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm about to say. I'm about to fucking say what? <laughs> what? All right, come on now. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm just like, fuck you guys, man. Annoying as shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Dude, fuck you. Just fucking spear guys, man. Like, ah, Give me a break. Give me a fucking break, game. They can, they're, I mean, they don't know I'm trying to level up my fucking harvester here, but that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, not what I'm about to do at all. All right, all right, I'm about to get my shit clapped. I gotta go off. I has to go off, bro. No, fuck you. Bitch. Don't mess with me like that? Yeah, almost had me dead type ass, bitch. Nah. I don't die. Easy. I don't die easy. I've only died twice in this entire series, man. And I think one of them was some stupid shit, but oh well. Health is over here. Very nice to have because we went through quite a bit of that. Now, question is, how far is our harvester? Oh my gosh, it's not even close. But this one does have the uh, EXP thing on it, I believe. Yes. So, we're, we're hopefully this will help our process up a little bit. Let's descend real quick. And we want to stay active. We will be encountering some of these eels. Boom, that was our first one. It don't stop there. Just keep going up. Start spinning. Don't get your ass clapped. All right. Double jump over that. You, I think you have to double jump over that. I don't think there's any way of going around it. So as you can tell, we're kind of blocked off. We came from this area and there's nothing over there. So there's an area over here. Context clues. And just uh, Well, not context clues and something else. But yeah, those we, we know to go down here. There's a lower part and an upper part. I want to go to the lower part first because I think there's something special down here. Now, I'm pretty sure War has, like, almost infinite health because, like, this man's, like, literally a god, in a sense. Not really. He's not really. Like, I know that, but, like, you know, whatever. We got a Wrath Shard. So, two, uh, yeah, two more of these bad boys, and we have another, uh, Wrath Bar on our hands. Some more souls. And then this right here, which I don't know what this fucking does, but we're gonna see. Uh, okay, so this is preventing us from moving on, more than likely. All right, so that would have moved us. Yeah, so that would have prevented us from moving on. But now that we have this area, so they basically were forcing you to come down here. So good thing I, you know, showed you guys pre preemptively. Let's go ahead and just, uh, I don't really know which way I should be going, to be honest. Whoa! I, I honestly, guys, this is stumbling across this motherfucker. Ooh. Ooh, Reaper. This enhancement boosts the harvest of souls from any or from slain enemies. Now, this is going wrong or going along with uh, his his uh, his scythe. This is the harvester. This is death scythe, death scythe. I'm sorry. And then we have the reaper, which you know, the reaper is kind of like death. You know, like it's kind of like an innuendo to it. But this looks very familiar to the actual scythe, and then that's because this is essentially if you bought the scythe, like the regular scythe. This would be the enhancement you would put on the regular side to essentially make it uh, a, a weaker version of the Harvester. But since we already have the Harvester, we don't really need the Reaper enhancement because we already have that. So that's kind of what you would get if you don't have the Harvester. You can go ahead and go in the uh, go in these areas and you would find yourself a nice little uh, thing to get. So let's start up by going on the top layer this, this time. There's that fan we would not be able to get past. Boom. 
And this is going to be a key, I think. Yes, indeedy. Beholder's key. So let's head back. Head back. This is not going to be a hard process at all. Let's try and make sure we avoid these guys. We're freaking Lightning McQueen up with this bitch, so it shouldn't be a problem. All right. Over here. Stab this fucking shit in the throat. I mean, the eye. I mean, that's, that's exactly what it is. An eye. Ugh, an eye, an eye, an eye. Voice cracks, man. They still come to me. Ah, yes. I forgot about this. Last time you guys saw this looking thing, uh, we got ourselves a new weapon. So, uh, you could just assume that's gonna happen again. Let's go ahead and fuck it up. And just like that, guys, Tremor Gauntlet, a battle-worn gauntlet that releases Tremor waves when charged. To charge the gauntlet, hold uh, Y. So, now that we have this bad boy equipped, you saw how War was able to destroy those glaciers. Uh, that's essentially what we're going to do. Okay, what am I doing? I dodged, but all right. No, um, I'm getting my fucking Dark Souls button messed up, man. I'm gonna play Dark Souls. Okay, this guy is about to go off on me. So this thing, I'm gonna lose it real quick. We basically just fucking punch him in the throat. It's a punch magnet. Okay, this guy can obviously punch a lot harder than I can. All right, his squad rolled up on him. Uh, greatness awaits. Um, and then do we have so this is our third weapon in the game if you guys didn't know uh, This is it. This is all the weapons. We're gonna like uh, the last main weapon. We're gonna get which also has four uh, Bars as well with that being said it has the same thing same progression stuff So let's go ahead and put our enhancement on that boy right there. Might as well have it on there Uh, I'm kind of fucking fisting these guys over. Like, I'm fisting them pretty hard over here. Like, look at that. Alright, so this guy we can ride. Ride for a little bit. We just want to start, like, fucking rocking around. Kind of like the Batman Arkham Brutes, or uh, the, uh, the, the Titan people. This guy has two health bars. So, essentially, you saw we took one of his, uh, horns off we there's two horns for him meaning we have two chances to uh use him as like a an offensive well i guess attack or defense an offensive defense because we don't we don't get hit while using him that shouldn't have hit but all right all right that was a good combo on you good combo on your ass and there's the third one and the second one oopsies let's just go ahead and use that to fuck these guys up and just like that, they are done. And then we should be able to... Bop! Cut his fucking head off. Let's go back to the Reaper real quick. And the Harvester. I'm not done with your ass, trust me. I'm not done with your ass. And that should be it, right? Boom! Nope, there's more. Oh my god. I might die. Like genuinely. Invincibility frames to clutch. Ugh. I'm assuming the glove, the uh, the tremor glove, is a lot more damage than the harvester overall. Because it's more of like an like this is more of like an overall like sweeping get your every enemy like every enemy around you type of attack or weapon, and then the gauntlet's obviously like in their face like I'll punch you in the fucking throat type shit. So still trying to use the harv uh, the, the harvester though because I, I think I use that more than I use the gauntlet in my other playthroughs. So all I know is for sure the the chaos eater will be the first one. 
and if anything will be the only one to be full leveled i would love to get the harvester to full level too i don't think i'll get the gauntlet full level or like all four like prestige levels in this playthrough then again this game does get pretty long in the second half of it so maybe we'll see a little more uh, success in that department Clap. Come here, bitch. Want the smoke? Chop his fucking head off. Oh, like, oh, come on. Like, you can't tell me that wasn't badass. Like, oh, so good. So good. So, now we have the option to switch between our gauntlets and our harvester with the depressible button on the D-pad. It's literally, I have it equipped to the bottom D-pad. You can have it to whatever you want. However, I do think this is, like, the standard one. I think this is, like, this is the one you normally go to. But, yeah. Go ahead and charge this motherfucker up. Bam! And that is all we need. Beholder's key. I could have told you that. For sure. For sure. Now over here, we're gonna stab that bitch like we usually do. Gank! Open the fucking door. <laughs> I'm just so aggressive with it. Open the fucking door. So now, oh, we'll have to go down there. And that's oh, that's actually the only way to go. So down here we go. But we saw a bunch of glaciers before that we'll have to go back in like other parts of the game and then redo. Um, no big deal though, because now we have the actual weapon. And now that we have all the Volgrim spots up to this point activated, it shouldn't be that hard to navigate. All right. So this part, in my opinion, is fucked. I like, I used to, this used to give me so much trouble as a kid um but i've come to realize it's not that bad i just was really bad i was just really fucking bad at the game uh at the point let's go ahead and get these health things real quick didn't think we were full after the last encounter it weren't that bad though i could have saved that oh well wrath thing would love to have the wrath i wish i obtained more wrath though like i feel like wrath is really hard to get from like basic ass enemies I mean, like, obviously they give you enhancements to use. That way it's not the bad, or not, like, not the worst. So it's easier for you to get Wrath. But obviously the enhancements I'm using for this playthrough right now are not those. So let's take this fucking thing right here and push it down. Shock Wave Punch. So I was trying to do this a minute ago. But essentially now we have the gauntlet, the Tremor Gauntlet. We can press and hold Y to use the Tremor Gauntlet and to strike it. Basically we'll just fucking, well, you're going to see. I don't want to spoil it, even though you could have read that, but if you didn't. So you want to hold both at the same time. You want to press B and triangle at the same time, or B and then hold B and then hold triangle. You got to do both. A little complicated, but as long as you have, as long as you're used to playing games, you got it. You got it. You got it. Over here, we want to drag this fucking huge block all the way over here. Bam. So now let's pull it a little more to the side. Charge it up. Bop. Now we can just run and glide real quick. Now I think doing this will either bring us down or bring us up. I forget which one it won. It brings us up. Okay. Does in fact bring us up. Let's go ahead and start moving. It's over here. And then you'll notice, well, wait a minute. This is not going to be tall enough. You're right. So you want to just jump over here using that thing. You have to basically place it over there. And there's an artifact. Uh, do I want to get that? Fuck yeah, I want to get that shit. That'd be like... I think I can make it back, too, if I just get this right now. I know it's an artifact. I don't know why they tell me every time. You know you have an artifact on your hands? Alright, I'm just going to stay here, then. I guess I'm just going to stay there. Game was not letting me do anything about it. But, you might have to take the L and re, uh, re uh, rerun this little route, but it's not that bad. Literally, like, the hard part of this is already solved. <laughs> uh, really? It's the charging thing. And I don't know why this gave me so much trouble. It's like, I don't, I don't know what the fuck I was doing as a kid. But I literally, this is the part that gave me, uh, that got me all the time. Like, this, this part right here. It was, uh, jumping over here. And I think lowering this thing. I believe this thing lowers it. Yeah, it lowers it. Come back over here. Alright, War. Thank you for doing that, like, three times. Now, we have the ability to do this. Smack that bitch over there. 
and then boom so i don't don't ask me why this gave me so much fucking problems as a kid who knows it's literally my youth man it was just my stupid ass youth push it over here and bam now that you're done that you can just simply jump up here well if you don't fuck up like i did and then bam you're done uh like i said don't know why they gave me so much problems as a kid but it's over now now, I'm pretty sure there's nothing over here for us, like, ever, so, no point. I don't even know why there's a platform over there. Um, yeah, this doesn't look like anything back there. Come over here. Do the thing. Bop. Shabla. And, are we almost out of this, like, fucking griever section, man? Tired of it. Tired of it. Bop. 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 Fuck you. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? I wanna punch the fuck? I wanna punch the fuck out of you, guy. I wanna punch the shit out of you. Bitch. Alright, here's the gauntlet up close. Uh, it looks... Oh, it went away. <laughs> okay. It kinda had a blue glow to it, but you couldn't tell that much. Unlike the, uh... The... Reaper, or the Harvester, where you can kinda take the, the uh, orange, or the purple shit to it. Fuck. You guys get off my dick? All right, over here. Oh, we're up top now. So we want to go ahead and grab, make our way over. Cut these motherfuckers up. Oh, hello, Griever. You trying to fuck with me, dude? Oh shit! Actually, that kind of that kind of scared me. I'm not gonna lie. That kind of scared me a lot. Griever, can we stop playing for the one time? Can we really stop playing for the one time? Mind the mood. Not in the mood, Sonny. Fuck you. Woo. Ah. Yes, sir. All right. Let's make our way down. Griever, man, loves tormenting us. You again. If at first you don't succeed, I guess. All right, so we're seeing some more new, like some more versions of these uh, little uh, first things we saw. The winged ones, I believe, are able to shoot fireballs at you. I think I saw one do. Yeah, this guy's about to throw a fucking fireball at my ass. Um, so these guys, I, honestly, I'm not gonna, be, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I did, I forgot these guys existed. I really did. Like the spinning guys, I, I, never, I remember them. I remember them very, very clearly. I always hated them. But these guys almost seem new. Like to the, like it's to the War Master Edition. I don't know. Because this is my second time playing the War Master Edition. And I played the original edition a lot. Well, I played it more. No reason why. It just happened to be the way it was. Switch to our gauntlet. Bop. And boom. I think we're like, yeah, we're like right where we used to be. So with this being said, hop down here, our gauntlet. Yowza! Yup. Yup. I'm pretty fucking sure. Not this guy. This is where we went beforehand. I'm pretty sure. I don't recall. There's actually anything. I don't know, actually. 
All I know is these trains are going to be vital. So let's go ahead and start messing with these goddamn things. I was just playing around. So. We can't do anything with over here. It's not going to move. not going to budge. So we have to go over here and break this glacier. And now we have a lot more area to go through. But let's jump up here real quick first. Oh, actually, we can't. That's not an option. Let's go over here. Okay, one more time. Let's get, oh, what the fuck? This game's giving me some issues right now. Or up here and just let's go ahead and hit this bitch. Off the thing. Boom. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Over here. We can just hop up, I think. No, this is where the eels were last time. Oh, so this other area over here. I can see. Oh, I did that. Back. We're I across. across. Mm, there's this now. Good call. Where is that? We went up. Now I'm starting to get fucking confused. So they all look the same. I do know. I think they all look up there. Thank you. Okay. Not okay. Okay. Like this was like a reference Right in front of us So with that being said Messy episode, a little confused at the very end there But overall, hope you guys enjoyed Peace out.